they say on the Codespaces website that they give blazing fast cloud developer environments. And if we scroll down a little bit, they actually say that it's faster than your laptop. So what I'm thinking that maybe I could just sell my M1 MacBook Pro and get a cheap laptop or even a Raspberry Pi to do my coding. To be honest, that sounds a little bit too good to be true. And what I'm thinking that is that let's just try to create a code space and see how it works and how it performs. So I will go to the top of the web page and click get started and see where we get from there. So from here, I think we just want to take the quick start. And right away, one thing to note here is that GitHub Codespaces is only available for organizations using the uh, GitHub team or GitHub Enterprise Cloud. And also it is available as a limited beta for uh, individual users. And I just got the email while back that I was accepted to the beta. So that's why I'm able to use it. And if you want to try it out yourself, go sign up for the beta yourself too. But from here, what I can see, we could use a template repository to use use for the code spaces. But I think this should work for any other uh, repo also. So let me open one repo right now. So here I have just the repo for my own website. And this uses Next.js. And I think we should be able to open this up in a code space. If we click the code button over here, and go to the code spaces tab and right here it says create code space on main so on the main branch let's click that and see what happens okay it says connecting and building all right that took some time maybe under a minute but i would assume that on the first load it takes takes that time and in the future it will be faster to uh, spin up this environment but it looks like it's finishing up and installing the dependencies so let's wait for that too all right that took maybe a little over a minute to install all the dependencies one or two minutes but now looks like we have the terminal open down here and up here we can uh, customize our vs code in the browser so i'll just select the theme the dark theme over here and close that tab but now looks like we have the project open so I have all my code in here and we also have, have the node modules folder looks like so it installed all the dependencies and now what I'm thinking is just let's try to start it and see what happens. So I will start it in the dev mode so yarn dev and let's see what happens. So your application is running on port 3000 opening browser maybe so it redirected me to this github preview.dev url and what do you know that's my my website running perfectly fine it looks like feels a bit slow when i open this but uh, yeah i think it's because as i said this is the uh, dev environment so with next.js it's uh, building all these pages when I open them, so that's fine. But let's see if we switch to the VS Code or the Code Spaces. We can actually see all the logs here that we navigated, for example, to the blog page. So to me, this looks like as if we were running it locally. Instead, we have the VS Code in the browser and also this uh, funny URL instead of the localhost URL. So looks like it's working. So that's pretty sweet. But one thing I'm wondering if is that uh, where can we find this URL if that pop-up didn't show up. So let's see over here we have the ports and it said something about forwarded port. So I would assume that this is something to do with that. So if we make this a bit bigger, it looks like that we can find it from the ports tab the uh, URL that we can access this website. So over here, if I copy this, open up a new tab and paste it in, it should open that environment, I assume. Yeah, looks like it's working correctly. Yeah, great. Uh, then what I want to know, of course, 
if I would develop with this is that uh, what if I make changes. So let's test that out. I will open up the pages folder and from here I think the index page and if we scroll down a little bit uh, we have the Ahoy I'm Tuomo heading there so that's that one so let's try to modify that so I say Ahoy from Code Spices like this and it says compiling I didn't save anything I didn't press command S or anything so looks like also that over here it's not indicating that this file is not saved so looks like it has autosave on so now if we go to the uh, web page to the preview page what do you know the heading is updated so let's try to add a few more exclamation points and they appear here so <laughs> so it has the library loading also built in so it works just like local host uh, about the performance of course it takes a little while for the changes to appear over here but i think it has something to do with the autosave also because now it compiled and now it's changed over here so from compiling to the actual changes appearing in here that's pretty short time so that's not a problem and also the compiling time is pretty fast although this is just one one file and one one change that we need to make but uh, at least for this it works great uh, I'm not sure how it would work when we have something that needs more building to do but at least for Next.js and like this kind of project looks like code spaces is pretty neat and for me the speed isn't even the like cool part of this just the fact that or for me just the fact that you can actually use your IDE or code editor in the browser and then run your application in the cloud so you don't have to install any dependencies on your own machine that just blows my mind <laughs> to be honest so this is really really cool stuff and I'm really interested to see what github does with this and how it evolves and how much better it will be in the future i'm thinking of making more videos on github code spaces because as i said this looks pretty nice so let me know in the comments if you want to see more content on the code spaces and also if you have suggestions on what kind of content you would like to see leave them down in the comment section